we have a pretty special episode. Rushmore. We're doing 21st century albums, music albums. Mm-hmm. So I'm pull up my list here. But also, you and I are professional musicians. Mm-hmm. I've been playing for professionally for like 20 years. Yeah. You more than that. Yeah, oh, yeah. Since Sarah Carter was born. <laughs> 32 years ago. That literally is more than my wife is. Told you. A, her, a human. Yeah. We're going to yeah. go four to one, ranking the worst of the best mm-hmm. to your absolute favorite album in the past 22 years. Yeah. My number four is the Black Album, Jay-Z. Nice. That be Now tuned into the greatest. Uh, go. Uh, uh, Turn the music up in the headphones. Tim, you can go and brush your shoulder off. I got you. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, I was going to say, Link, go like for it. Yeah. Yeah. Turn up your shoulders. I'm probably over to y'all. Probably be locked by the force. Trying to hustle some things. That, go with- that beat is so good, <laughs> so dude. So good. Tells me to go. They clearly recorded this live. Yeah. Oh, my sweet disposition. Get them. Oh, come on. One, two, one, two, three, down. So, welcome back to another episode of the Twerk Ethics Show. Woo! You here? You ready? Yeah. My name, as always, is JT. Here's my little stuff. Mm Mm-hmm. And this over here is a very good friend of mine, co-host with the most, Twerker himself, Ah. Cooley. Hey, everybody. Man, you got applause early. Yeah. It's going to go downhill from here. Let's give it up for JT. I mean, (laughs) (laughs) that wasn't my uh, objective. I wasn't like <laughs> searching for a praise, but I appreciate the praise. Yeah. I mean, you gave me some praise break. So I'm going to give you some too. Twerk, twerk, praise twerk break. Praise twerk. <laughs> Be kind of nice. Oh, huh. all right. So before I forget, Who knows? Um, I am married. You knew this. I'm glad you didn't forget. And my wife's birthday. So when this releases, my wife's birthday will be yesterday. Oh, so, no way. Happy birthday, Sarah Carter. Let's see. Happy birthday. Let's give her applause, too. Yeah. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, even though you won't listen. <laughs> we'll do this for her mom. Yeah. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday. And many more. I made the joke with my... <laughs> She gets her license this year, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God, that leads into my point. I made the joke to my uh, parents last night that I can no longer say I robbed the cradle because she's getting older. Right. And it's like n- n- the joke's not as good anymore. Yeah. But God, that was hilarious. <laughs> she gets her license this year. <laughs> Eight and a half is our gap. Eight and a half. Okay. Eight and a half years. Yep. Um, which... When she was 21, that mattered a little bit more. Mm. It was a little more risque. True. Um, and I, I wasn't, you. I wasn't, to be honest with you, I was not, I was not okay with it. Yeah. I don't, I should have been more okay with it, mm-hmm. but I wasn't. And it's because most people at 21 are not as mature as, as my wife was. 
Most true. people at my wife's age now are not as mature as she is. That's also true. She is a very old soul mm-hmm. in all the good ways. Yeah. Um, but yeah, eight and a half years. Wow. I was reading in a in a book that there was this guy, I can't remember his name, back in the like revolutionary period, mm-hmm. so like 1780s or whatever. Yeah. He was 60, and he married a 16-year-old. <clears throat> that Ooh. is disturbing. That's like yeah. medieval times yeah. stuff. A little bit. You know? Uh, so I feel that made me feel better <laughs> about oh eight and a half gosh. years. Yeah, no like, kidding. Eight and a half is not bad. No. No, it's not been, bad at all. It's actually pretty great. Yeah. I'm not saying it would work for everyone. But it has worked right. really well with us. Yeah. Um, there are certain things where pop culture wise, there's not much overlap. Mm. And you're like, Yeah, you don't remember this? Yeah. And she's like, No. <laughs> I have no idea what this is. Or right. she'll bring up some Nickelodeon show. And I'm like, What what is that? <laughs> she's like, You didn't watch this? I'm like, No. <laughs> right. So the stuff like that, uh uh-uh. uh. You know what I mean? Yeah. It can yeah. be a little weird. No, but, I know. We have a pretty special episode, and we're going to start it early with our segment. (gasps) Rushmore. (laughs) I'll tell you what I'm laughing at in a minute. So when I was in Boston, I, I bought a book called The Founder's at home and it's about the founding fathers mm-hmm. and it's revolutionary history and it's very good by the way right. i'm actually very interested i if, if you're not interested in that it's the worst book in the world right because it's it's just super nerdy or whatever but <laughs> as i'm hearing the rushmore theme song i'm like it's kind of makes me want to read my book because it's uh, i feel like we're like marching yeah in the revolutionary war yep but definitely so today We are doing something, I think, that's pretty cool and rather difficult. Okay. So, yeah. Today, very. We're doing 21st century albums, music albums. Mm -hmm. So, I'm pulling my list here. uh, There it is. I want to set a couple of ground rules. Gorgeous. Uh, Or maybe not ground rules, just some context is a better way to say that. Okay. So, I live by it. Yeah. I think. This is, of course, as always, with any Rushmore, it's very subjective. So there are going to be people listening sure. that disagree. But, dude, music is such a personal... These are our top four. Yeah. You can't take that away from us. Music is such a personal thing that... For sure. But also, you and I are professional musicians. Mm-hmm. I've been playing for professionally for like 20 years. Yeah. You, more than that. Yeah, oh, yeah. Since Sarah Carter was born. <laughs> my wife (laughs) it's true uh anyway yeah i've been playing for well i first started playing drums 32 years ago that literally is more than my wife is told you a a human yeah almost said a hermit (laughs) um a a human yeah so we take this seriously because this is a it's personal to us sure but at the same time you know, I know when I'm looking at this stuff, I'm looking at like what album that just like musically and mm-hmm. thematically and all this other stuff. Like when I heard this album, I'm like, ah, this is the best album I have heard in yeah. the past 22 years. Yeah. It's like, it's a game changer for us. Yeah. Um, it's, um, yeah, it was just. And it, it's an album I can listen from top to bottom. Yeah, absolutely. Not skipping a song. This that's it. And I'd add to that you mm-hmm. can you can listen from top to bottom. Yeah, and you never get tired of it. Right. Never get tired of it. Yep. Um, I'm pretty sure the, a good example that's not the 21st century would be Sinatra. Like many of his albums. Yeah, I, I would put in this list, but that's obviously not the 21st century. No. Last thing I'll Sadly. say. Sadly. Is I have a lot of honorable mentions. I, I do too. I do want to, and then I have several. Uh, to make this a little more enjoyable, 
Mm-hmm. We're going to take the copyright ding, and we're going to try and play um, some excerpts okay. from the albums because yeah. people listening may not know that album. They may know the artist, may it's not true. know the artist. Yeah. And so I thought it'd be cool to kind of like, since it is a music episode, yeah, play a little bit, you know, a little we'll bit take of the a, ding. a clip. Taking the ding. We're not afraid. And that's going to be okay. Ask us if we're afraid. <laughs> You seem afraid. I'm so scared. <laughs> mm. So here we go. Oh, I'm kind of nervous because yeah. it took, just so everyone knows, it took me 24 hours to come up with this list. Not 24 solid hours. But right. It took me an entire day to think about this. Yeah. This is not off the cuff. I finally got my stuff together last night because I was like, I'm not doing this tomorrow. I need to figure it out now. Yeah, because, again, this is not something you can figure out. In a minute. Yeah. No. You know? And this is, oh. I take some time. It's not this like one. this is a genre either. It's not like you're saying, no. what are the best country albums or nope. the best rap out? No, it's like. Overall. Overall. So yep. without any further ado, uh, Nate, you'll go first. We're going to yeah. go four to one, ranking the worst of the best mm-hmm. to your absolute favorite album in the past 22 years. Yeah. Ha. Huh. Here we go. Yep. Number four. What you got? My number four is the Black Album, Jay-Z. Nice. That beat. Now tuned into the greatest. Go. Turn the music up in the headphones. Tim, you can go and brush your shoulders off. I got you. Yeah, Yeah, I was going to say Lincoln. Go for it. Turn up your shoulders. I'm probably yo with the y'all. Probably be locked by the force. Trying to hustle some things. That That beat. It's so good, dude. So good. It's so good. I actually like um is it Encore? Oh yeah. Yeah, I I like this one a lot. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Far too kind. Yeah. That's awesome, man. I I I respect this a lot. And dude, for it to be so good in your list, Mm -hmm. like you're not even that big of a hip hop guy. I mean, you are, but you're not. Yeah, I mean, so it's that's not, to me, this is some my favorite. This is saying a lot. Yeah. Oh, it's it was a game changer that's for awesome. sure, and I have it on vinyl too. You know what's cool? It sounds amazing. Oh, we should have we should have brought that. Mm. What's cool to me is that I heard that he doesn't write his lyrics down. Mm-hmm. So for this whole album, all memory, all memory. Yep, which is nuts. And he has them like filed separately too so like this rhyme goes with this song or this rhyme goes with that beat or whatever it's yeah um do you remember him doing the uh lincoln park mm-hmm. compilation yep go on, brush your shoulders <laughs> off ladies and pimps too go on, brush your shoulders off so hard that's awesome dude that's awesome so hard nice choice i love it too because like thank you i do think our lists are gonna be different Oh, yeah. I even chose not to put one on here because of you. Oh, really? It almost was on my list, but I'm uh, like, I, I, I feel like it's going to be on his. And I'll, okay. t- I'll tell you if you if Yeah, you yeah. Set okay. It. So. But it is on your honorable mention. It is. Got it. So my turn for the number four best album in the past 22 years. Mm-hmm. A band called Copeland. Mm-hmm. The album In Motion okay, is an album I've listened to. Is that the one with the leaf? Yes. All right. It's okay. an album I've listened to like 500 times. And yeah. the leaf on the on the artwork, mm-hmm. uh, our old drummer, Chris, he has it. When we recorded at Matt Goldman's studio, yeah. it was above the mantle. And so Chris oh, went wow. to Matt Goldman. He goes, is that is that the branch from the Copeland album? Yeah. He goes, yeah. He's like, take it if you want. And he took it. No he way. He still has it. So you really? Yeah. Like that wow. leaf or whatever. He, he has it, it. I guess he has to put it in water, right? No, it's dead. Oh, okay. So it was, yeah. I mean. Gotcha. This is a song right. on there that I really like. Here. Nice. 
I love this album so much. Yeah. Like when people talk about Radiohead, I'm like, get out of my face. <laughs> like, <laughs> go listen to Copeland. Yeah. Go listen to Coldplay. Yeah. They're better. Yeah. They just are better. I hear you. Um, I'm not, I, this is not, I'm not just specifically hating on Radiohead. I'm just saying, yeah. Copeland's better than Radiohead. Um, I got you. Fight to the death about that. <laughs> um, I love them. Yeah. Like, I love this band. Mm. And I, like I said, I've probably listened to this album hundreds of times. Yeah. From start. I need to get back into it. All the way to the finish. Mm. So, nice. That's my number four. I need to check that one out. Uh, what's Sweet. your number? I like that one. Trace. Oh, uh, la, 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 la. You had just brought them up just a second ago. Coldplay? Yep. Can I guess? Sure. A rush of blood to the head? Yep. <laughs> nice. Nice. Well, that uh, is good. I thought you were going to guess X and Y, but. No. Uh, Great album, but. Yeah. I figured you probably, just knowing your style. Yeah. And probably this is, this is probably their best album. Oh, yeah. Just objectively. Yeah. Um. What song do you like? I love the power of politic. Okay. Not the first one. Just right out the gate. Oh, yeah. This one is good. Oh, yeah. And then, of course, for you, of course, for you. Yes. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Oh, there's so many hits on this one, dude. Yep. Freaking the scientist. Yeah. And then clocks. Oh, dude, I got to give you props on that one. <laughs> It's not album. on. This is the difficult part about Rushmore because this yeah. is not on my Rushmore, but I yeah. wholeheartedly agree with you on this. Mm. I got you. This is one of the best albums ever. Yeah, not That's just the one. past twenty years. Right. They're amazing. Yeah. <clears throat> when that album came out, and I heard, I think Clocks is what did it for me. Yeah. That just beginning part, I was just like, I mean, I knew who they were because of Yellow and yeah. That their first album's great too, but when this came out, I was like, <laughs> "This is another level that they just went to," and they've been doing that for years, and they're still good. Their new stuff's amazing too. So, but this album just, I just connect with it. I agree. <clears throat> All right, so my number three, right? <sighs> yep, my number three. It's funny because this is going to make me sound pretentious. Okay, but there's just no other way to say this. I knew about Brandy Carlisle way before everybody else did. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, she got super, super famous and good for her. Mm -hmm. She deserves it. Yeah. But she did an album called The Fire Watcher's Daughter. Oh, man. Yeah. From front to freaking back. Yeah. This album. These harmonies, you're not ready. Check it out. It really breaks my heart to see a dear old friend go down in the worn out place again. Nice. Come on, man. Do you know the sound of a closing door? Have you heard that sound somewhere before? So good. I'll play one more, too. All right. This is actually behind me, too. The, I actually had the vinyl uh. behind us. You gave it away. I know. I could have given away the number one, but I was like, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Again, this goes back to harmonies. Listen to this. You came into this world with eyes as clear as water. Also, she does most of her stuff look a thing first take. Like yours. She just oh, goes I don't doubt it. Daughter. I don't doubt it. With a heart so heavy and beating like a drum. It's so good. Yeah, neither did you look like you ready for your it? grandfather's son. Shame. And when Woo. everything else changes, I'm oh. so 
Oh. Stay the same. One more time. Uh, anyway. Nice. I, I've been on the Brandy Carlisle chain f- train forever, since like 2006. Like okay. she, this is this is a later album. Yeah, and that's why I put it on there because it <laughs> that sounds incredible. It's just, just she's unreal. I'm a sucker for harmonies too. Yeah, man. she's unbelievable. Number two, uh, this artist was popular before this, but for me, he just went on to another level when he came out with his album. I don't know what you're gonna say. Wait. I think I do, but go ahead. The 2020 experience. Justin Timberlake. Justin Timberlake. What an original choice. <laughs> and I'll give it to you on that one too, man. I used to listen to that all the time. Yeah, from top to bottom, bro. It's I tell you, I'll, I'll all take, good. I'll take it a step further. Yeah. I did not. I don't like anything else he's ever done. Really? I don't like anything he's done. I, yeah. But that album. Yeah. Yeah. As far as full albums, he's he had. A couple hits before that one. Because this had that Sinatra vibe. Yeah. Oh, man. There's so many good ones on here. Mm-hmm. Did you have one you wanted to, to play? I mean, I was thinking of this one. Hey, little mama. I gotta ask me if I want to. <laughs> so good. I'm yeah. Just tell me, can I get When he gets to the course. Now you got me up the bonnet push. So I wanna see the baby. So gonna be my dealer, baby. So I want to be some So good. I also love this song. I love this song a lot. Nice choice, dude. Ba, boom, 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 boom. I love how different Ba-dum-ba. our list are, man. I know. I like it too. I, I knew it was going to be different. I anyway. actually, I agree with this. That is this. That's one of the better albums of the past twenty years. Yeah, and it's it was so original. Mm-hmm. I have this theory too. Um, of the one that I think might be your number one, but and and the one that's my number two. Okay. Am my number one, to be honest with you. I do think every now and then an artist comes out with an album that is so good that they literally peak. Mm. They don't have a choice. Yeah. And um, Justin Timberlake peaked. Mm. And that's nothing against him. No, 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 no. But his al- that album was so... Because he still has good songs, but the whole... We're talking about the entirety of the record. Pure magic. Yeah. So good. And I... Ha- it was just, it's so good, uh, and my number two is so good mm-hmm. that they'll never be the same after that. Yeah. Like they, well, they'll never be bigger. Like this yeah. is this is the <laughs> pinnacle of your career. You did it, yeah. And no matter what you ever do ever again, because it was like right place, right time, right sound, mm-hmm. right band, right, yeah. just everything about it. Yeah, was just perfect, and it's sealed forever in time. Yep. Well, that was your number two. Yes. Uh, it so it's time for my number two? Yep. Jamie Cullum. I'm sorry to say I didn't know a name. The Pursuit. The fact the last six hours are... Wow, chef's kiss. So good. This was Piecing almost my number one. Together the fragments of a frame. I actually like his first Why two albums. Motor skills okay. are out of faith. But- do you listen to this whole I album? Like I don't in think so. My gosh. This is obviously like a, a standard. We've never yeah. met before. But his version is just... Baby, it's, it's stupid. Sure. I love this right here. Woo-hoo-hoo. 
It was just one of those things. Um, just and he's got this one. Hello, he, there's a his drummer's name Sebastian something. He's amazing. It yeah. seems like we've been friends for years, and I'm finishing. How I wish I had never begun, though it should be the last one. Let me go. Don't you know? I'm all over it now. Ah, nice. Oh, gosh. Now this album is a little more jazz. Yeah. So like, if you don't, if you're not into jazz, this this may not be. This you might be like this is why would you put this? But mm. I'm not gonna argue with it because sonically it sounds so good. It's amazing. Quick story yeah. since it's my wife's birthday. Um, when I first met Sarah Carter, she was a barista. Okay, and we were flirting, bantering back and forth. And I said, mm -hmm. I said, when do you get out of school? <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh, oh, Rob the cradle. <laughs> I did. Yeah. Um, it is what it is. Yeah. It worked out well, too. Yeah, for um, sure. I keep getting uglier, and she keeps looking better. Um, anyway. Hey. Uh, so I played a game with her, right? And I said, don't go there. Uh, <laughs> and, and I said, on the count of three, like, tell me your number one favorite artist. Mm. And she's like, okay. So we're like, three, two, one, Frank Sinatra. Mm. We both said it. Dang. And I was like. That's weird. Yeah. And I said, okay, number two. She's mm. like, okay. So we're like, three, two, one, Jamie Cullum. We both said oh, no it way. at the same time. And I was like. I knew about the first one. This is I weird. I forgot about the second one. Like for, for us to have the same one and two, and like Jamie Cullum is not yeah. that well known. Yeah. So I was like, this is weird. Mm. So I married her. There you go. And her. And her third favorite was Pantera. Pantera, yes. Which was weird. <laughs> I think her third favorite might have been Michael Jackson. Oh, okay. Um, but she was also different back then. I mean, that was a long time ago. True. I don't think she would say. I think if you asked her again today, she'd probably say her first favorite artist is Billy Joel. Mm. I think it's I think that's who she might say. All right. But she does love a good one. She does love Frank Sinatra. She still loves Jamie Cullum. Yeah. But I just thought that was. We're all over again. Number uno, numero uno for all you Spanish speaking listeners out there. Number one, uh, best album in the past 22 years. Bienvenido, by the way. Nathan Cooley. What you got? Continuum. Yes. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. And you're, dude. Again, might be one of the best albums ever. Yeah. Not just 21st century. Right. Mm hmm oh, Man. And I didn't put it on my list. Yeah. Because I knew it was going to be on yours. Because uh, you talk about this album all the time. True. So I also want you to understand that it was almost on my list. That's how much I, yeah. I like this. Yeah. I figured it would be. What song... Do okay. that. I tell you which Just one. Just pick one. I like is. Oh. 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 <laughs> uh. So good. Actually, one of my favorite songs is this one, the last song. I'm gonna find Great another one. you. Yep. It's, it's really over. Mm. And then there's freaking You got me this That snare though Ah Steve Jordan Pino Palladino One of the greatest bands ever assembled That groove Obviously most people are gonna know this one Yeah I didn't realize how good this album was recorded. Yeah, oh yeah. Nice. Mm. 
bro. Top I, to bottom. I commend you. That's awesome. Such a good album. That is. That is. And there's not like keep going like listening one after another in the order that they have it in there. Don't shuffle it. I mean, you could shuffle it. That's but, such a good point, man. I actually we should have said this at the beginning. You had it has a theme. Yeah, it's put in the order. Sure. It's put in order intentionally. Mm-hmm. Um, yep. All these albums, I feel like that we've named, yeah, are done that way. Yep. So, you ready for my number one favorite album in the past twenty two years, the twenty first century? Yes. Cool. Ryan Adams. Ooh. Heartbreaker. Dude, this album. Mm. So good. Heart is broken. Move over, Brandy. Stupid. (laughs) (laughs) Well, the pills I got, they asked me, let's go out for a while. In the knives up in the kitchen. Chills. We're all too dull to smile. Yeah. In the sun. All you hear me. is him and an acoustic. Boy, and then there's nothing in be- like there's dead wax. silence. Yeah. In between that. Yeah. Well, the thing. And then I do. there's this one. You've probably, you've probably heard this one. This is uh, him and Emmy Lou Harris. Sweet Carolina? Yeah. Is that what it's called? Yep. Oh, my sweet Carolina. Oh, my. Okay. I went down to Houston and, and I stopped in San Antonio. I'll fast forward to the end of the I up the state borrowed spending money like it up with pockets Here it goes. full of cane. Come on, Emmy Lou. Mm. Oh, my sweet Carolina. And they're not on. They're not on a click. Nope. What compels me to go? They clearly recorded this live. Yeah. Oh my sweet disposition. Get them. May you one day carry me home. Brushes. Also, there's a cool song called Ooh. "In My Time of Need." To your point, just raw. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're definitely in the room with him. Listen to this in complete darkness. It's special. Mm-hmm. Will you comfort me in my time of need? You take away the pain of hurtful deeds. Cause when we need it most, there's no rain at all. Come on, man. Mm. He's so good. Let's just sell those right he's got, there on. He's got like a Bruce Springsteen slash Bob Dylan yeah. vibe to him. Like this this song sounds like Bob Dylan. Tell me what you think about this. One, two, one, we when he comes in, you're like, this is Bob Dylan. It's not. It's Ryan Adams. Young boy done me bad. When it did you wrong? Wow. Yeah. Young boy done me bad. I went and did you wrong. And I got high. high. That's so Bob Dylan. Yeah, for oh, sure. <laughs> man, this... I'm, Nice. I challenge I like anyone lot. listening. Mm-hmm. Well, I'll challenge to your album too. Mm-hmm. I challenge anyone listening, including you, if you haven't. Ryan Adams, Heartbreaker. Just put it on. Fall mm-hmm. is the best time to listen yeah. to it. Put it on. Let it roll all the way to the end. I promise you, you'll you like this album. Yep. I promise you. It's mostly acoustic, Yeah, which says something because... When's the last time you heard me listen to acoustic music? I don't really do it. No. So it says so it says something about this. Mm-hmm. But I'd say about your album too. 
you need before you die to listen fr- from top to bottom to yeah. John Mayer's Continuum. Yep. And Ryan Adams' Heartbreaker. Mm-hmm. And you will have listened to two of the best albums that have ever been made. Mm-hmm. Ever. Mm-hmm. That have ever I been agree. thought of, recorded. Yeah. This mm. is music and songwriting at its absolute finest. Yep. How many honorable mentions do you have? I have nine. I, yeah, I have about that much. So let's go through them rather quickly. All right. Let's do this. Let's let's uh, go back and forth. Okay. So go for it. Uh, honorable mention. Another sonically incredible album. Come away with me, Nora Jones. <sighs> That absolutely is so good. Wait until uh, I saw the sun. Oh! <laughs> uh, honorable mention for me mm-hmm. The Killers, Hot Fuss. Sweet. Oh, uh, come on. One, two, one, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, Hot what a great album. Hot Puss. All right. Next for you. Honorable mention. Hot Puss Killers. That was on your stage. Nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Speaker box slash the love below outcast. <laughs> nice. Uh, let me find that one. They, uh, That's a... I'm not sure I know that. That was a dual album. Speaker Box, The Love Below. Yeah. I can't play any of those because they're really explicit. <laughs> um, <laughs> right. Here's here's an honorable mention. Have you ever heard of the Postal Service? I have. Uh, their album, Give It Up, it's in every movie ever. Oh. Uh, yeah, listen to the headphones. It'll kill you. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. it's kind of ahead of its time too, because it was before we had all the tools to do all this right stuff. Yep. Um, there you go. It's just that kind of vibe, the whole thing, mm-hmm. and it was cool because it That's was. Cool. It's kind of ahead of its time. Yeah, for uh, sure. Uh, go ahead. The album is called Random Access Memories. Daft Punk. Daft Punk, dude. Great album. And then you had you also had the uh <laughs> Vampire Weekend. You ever oh, listen to them? All right, yeah. I've um, heard a couple of their songs. I like their original stuff, so you'll know this from Step Brothers. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. But they had the songs. They have this like kind of African sound. I've heard this album again hundreds of times. As younger, it's kind of like Paul Simon. Yeah, a little bit. That's true. With your mother. All right. With your mother. Go for it. Graduation, Kanye West. Nice. What a weirdo he's become. <laughs> <laughs> I bet yeah. you I know the song. I mean, he's been a weirdo it for me. a long time. But yeah. This is the song you showed me a long time ago. I'm not very good. Nice. I'm not a very good nice. lyricist. Um, Jimmy Eat World, Bleed American. Ooh. It's rock and roll. Yeah, dude. I'm not a 
but it also it had this one. Oh yeah. oh yeah! It just takes all rhymes. All right, <laughs> and then they had this one too. If you're listening, whoa. Honorable mention: Meant to Live, Switchfoot. Dude, that's one of mine too. Really? Yeah. Sweet. Yes. Let's go. Yeah. I used to love this one too. Oh yeah. The bridge. This bridge. Give me that snare. Uh, amazing. Yeah, yeah. All right. This one uh, did stay on my number four, but I moved it because I think maybe I should put this in the country one. Rascal Flats, Ooh. Melt. Ooh. This is such a good album. Man. <laughs> yeah. Hey, darling. Miss you. We should come back. <laughs> hey, baby, is that you? Wow, your hair got so long. Yeah, yeah, I love it. I really do. I was also thinking, too. Gary. He's amazing, right? Dude, he's so good. <laughs> he's so good. So uh, I was thinking, and the, the Gilmore Girl fans will understand this. I was <laughs> thinking that you could take Rascal Flatts' Mayberry song, and it could be a segue in Gilmore Girls. <laughs> That's true. Oh, wow. Right? This yeah. is this belongs in the Gilmore Girls. Yeah. Uh, another Coldplay, Parachutes. They're OG. Yeah. That was a good one. Man, that was a good one. That was a good I'm trying to think of the particular song on that one that I love. Probably um, Sparks from Wedding Crashers. Oh, Yellow was the one I was thinking of. Yeah. That chord, though. Can you just... Uh, uh, what's her name? Ooh, Wedding ooh, Crashers. Ooh, 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 ooh. Rachel McAdams? Yeah. I picture her every time I hear this song. <laughs> All right. Um, I have three more. I have two more. Okay. Keith Urban. Golden Road. Ooh, that is a good one. Come on, dude. You got. I'll tell you what, boy, this is about that gun. My favorite album ever. Ever. This is my. It's my ever favorite album, man. It's a good one. It's Cowboy JT. <laughs> Get you some Keith Urban in your life. Need it. Boy goes off, man. Boy goes off. Voodoo D'Angelo. <laughs> Pino sneaking in. Oh, that's Pino on there? Yeah. And uh, Quest Love on drums. Traveler by Chris Stapleton. Nice. I like that one. Everyone. It's a daggum good one. I'm not even going to play that one. If you haven't heard that album, you need to go listen to that. Mm. All right. Last honorable mention. Marshall Mathers, LP. Nice. Eminem. I agree with that. I totally agree with that. May I have your attention, please? Will the real Slim Shady please stand up? I repeat. Will the real Slim Shady please stand up? We're going to have a problem here. Y'all act like 
you never seen a white person before. Jaws all on the floor like Pam, like Tommy just burst in the door. And start. <laughs> mm. All right. All right. My last one is Adele 19. Ooh. I think nice. you could put almost every album she's ever done. True. But my favorite one is 19 because of this song. My favorite's 21. But 19 is awesome. Let me find the... Uh... In the Just hold me closer, baby. baby. This chorus. Baby. Crazy for you. Gosh. Nineteen years old, ridiculous. Probably eighteen when she recorded it. Yeah. Well, dude, uh, this was fun. Yeah. Not as silly as we normally are, but we're huge musicians. It's fine. Yeah. You start talking about music with us, and we'll go real deep. Yep. Well, dude, a pleasure. This was kind of fun for me too because it feels like pleasure on this side of the table. Oh, okay. All of it. <laughs> TMI. <laughs> TMI. Even though we named all of our honorable mentions, I still feel like I need to explain myself. Yeah. Because it's just, it's, you know, we come from the generation and there's of... more albums that I didn't even mention. Well, I was going to say, we come from be. the generation of like you had a CD collection. Yeah. And that was your personality. Yep. You'd ask someone, let me see your CDs. Uh-huh. I know you're saying you're cool. Let me see your CDs. Right. <laughs> you see their CDs and you're like, man... <laughs> <laughs> you ain't that cool. Yeah. You know? Just like, Sound of Music, what's this doing in here? Hey, I like I, Sound of Music. I, I would think you're cool if you had that. Thank you. Only that? Nah, you're a weirdo. Well, that's true. But if you had... <laughs> it's this huge city booklet, and all I have in there <laughs> all, all, is yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> one Sound of Music. And it's not even just, it's not even the music. It's like the movie on tape. <laughs> it's just like <laughs> right it's just like disc it's one pirated. disc two disc three yeah <laughs> that's amazing nice all right dude that's yeah. it yeah we'll uh talk to y'all next week yes we will and this has been episode what 91 yeah wow wow wow, wow. so 91. see ya one and again happy birthday to my wife happy birthday sc bye Thank you.